So now Jeremy's response to getting called out and being proven that he was a liar, that he said he wanted to debate me and I was scared of debating him and proving that he was a liar, that he was blocked on my telegram because he's blowing it up like a little girl that got had sex with and then didn't call after. Now he's telling me he's not going to debate me. He'll only fight me with fists. Isn't that convenient that all he wants to do now is change the entire conversation away from a constructive debate where I'm trying to save Canadians and show Canadians what's going to happen to them, and he wants to make sure that I can't do that and wants to make sure that he won't get exposed for having no solutions to any of these problems, and instead he wants to shut me up by making me fight him in some kind of charity boxing match. Buddy, I'll fight you after we debate. How about that? How about we talk first, and I get to say what I want to say, let Canadians hear what they need to hear, like you pretended you wanted, and then we can have our fight. I'm not afraid of you at all, but I'm not going to let you squiggle out of this debate. No way, no fucking how. I'll fight you after the debate. You can make any fucking rules you want. It will be MMA, and I'll donate all the money to charity. You're not allowed to keep one fucking dime. That's the only thing about this because I know that everything about you is money so we'll have that fight that you want so very badly and Canadians will want to see after after we have the debate that you pretended you wanted there you go that's my terms you want to fight we're going to debate first and we're going to have the format that I get to speak for three minutes and you can't open your fucking ginger haired mouth and then you can have three minutes and I won't say a fucking word and we'll keep that going back and forth until one of us is the clear victor and then I'll fight you no fucking problem. I am not scared of you, but you are definitely scared of me. Otherwise, you'd debate me. You wouldn't pretend that I'm doing drugs. You wouldn't pretend that I'm drunk. You know what we call that? We call that projection because we know that you're the one that likes to drink. We know you're the one that likes to do drugs. I don't even drink coffee. I don't do the drugs. I don't drink alcohol. I even stopped smoking weed, which was the one thing I did do for the last 20 years. So I'm cleaner than clean. And my mind is perfectly ready for this debate. And you said you were ready for this debate. And now, all of a sudden, you won't debate me under any circumstances because it's not worth your time. And I don't know what I'm talking about. And you're so much smarter than me. That's the reason you won't debate me. Well, if that's true, debate me and fucking prove it. You ginger-haired, lying cocksucker that works for the government. Everybody's on to you. Everybody knows exactly what you are. You're a fucking liar, you're a fucking coward, and you're a fucking bitch. I'll fight you after we debate. And you're not going to debate me because it will literally ruin your life. When I'm done with you on the debate, you'll be done, the Agalon will be done, and nobody will spend one more dollar to see you or do anything. That's the real reason you won't debate me. And that's the real reason you want to fight me. Because then you can literally use the next months to make as much money as possible leading up to this fight using all this promotion and you got to shut me up. My mouth is my biggest weapon. The truth is the biggest weapon. And you are hiding from the truth. You are hiding from me and everybody fucking knows it. I'm not hiding from you. I'm right here and I will fight you after we debate. And if you're going to hide from the fucking debate, everybody knows it's because you're afraid of me. Not because you're too smart for me. Not because you think I'm not going to follow the rules. It's because you know I'm going to absolutely eviscerate you. And now you're going to try to turn it into a fist fight so nobody gets to hear what I have to say? Not going to happen, my little friend. I'm a lot smarter than that and I'm a lot smarter than you. And not only am I going to prove I'm a lot smarter than you, which I've already done, I'll prove that I'll beat your fucking ginger ass after when everything is said and done. So first I'm going to dismantle you mentally, and then I'll fuck you up physically. And if you won't agree with that, it's because you're fucking scared.